morning, Fraser. Uh, Friday morning, and I got a text last night from Sharon uh, asking me if it was possible to put up a handrail. I said, yeah, well, sure, where? And then I realized, because some of the, there's a, a ladies' Bible study that goes on in the basement of the church, um, and some of the ladies going are a little, a little elderly more than I. And uh, I realized that the, the big stairwell that we go down into at the back of the church doesn't have any, any railing. So. And she said, yeah, that's where it is. So, so I'm going to work on that today. Hey, bud. It's been a bit of a crazy morning so far. Uh, went out to the church here, where I'm at now, to, uh, you know, just take a look at the... Uh, the stairs here so we've got no railing here or here so that's what I'm working on uh, just going out dealing with prices and that sort of stuff trying to find the product that I need and uh, man got a couple of a uh, couple of calls right away to you know just go and give a hand here or there and so that's been it's been busy finally got all the stuff got my tools ready to go let's get to work man So they didn't have any that like you know the little steak bites kind of thing, right? They didn't have any. I said, okay, well I'll get this other beef thing, this beef carpaccio thing. Oh, it's raw. Well, I know that now. <laughs> Thanks a lot. But it was it was good. It was really good. Did you eat it? I did, absolutely. Oh, disgusting. And uh, so I see they don't have that on the list anymore, but they've got steak tartare. Yeah. So I, they, you know why? Because people died. Be, no. Because okay. People don't know that that's the word. It's the same word. I can only imagine how many people ordered Capaccio thinking that it's cooked. Is is I thought steak tartare was a hamburger, like a burger, like nope. a. Nope. Well, it is. Is your Capaccio pieces of steak? It was. It was very very thin slice. Okay. Yeah. So that's the difference, but it's still raw. It's a hamburger with an egg and Worcestershire sauce and and mustard. Is the egg cooked? No, it's not, actually. Uh, and you mix it all in. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's add Fraser before you go. And if you order that, I'm not going to say it's the same thing with you. Well, that's a plus, isn't it? Oh, my God. <laughs> Good morning, Fraser. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Bye. Okay. See you later. Yeah. So the rule is minimum 900 millimeters. Uh, to the top of the rail, so including this and all that sort of stuff from the stair nose. So I'm going to go just a hair above. Probably a better way to do that, but I don't know what it is. Look at this board. We put this board in. Pressure treated board. Put it in there for supports, thinking that was enough. I cannot believe how much that thing is worth. Should have been kiln dry first, eh, Fraser?
what I'm looking at is I'm looking at it's going about it's going up on here, here. Let's double check that and make sure those are all good. From the stair nose. 36. Good. Okay. down probably lower than it needs to be. I don't know. But I'm going to say it's going to go down just a little bit lower. Basically down to there. So. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. I should have left it. Should have left it in. That was, that was a guesstimate. I just guessed in between, and I got like 25 and a half on one side and 26 on the other, so I'm pretty happy with that. I have my handy dandy helper here. In my good clothes, touching dirty things. In all seriousness, no offense to all the other guys I work with, but she's the cutest one that I work with. Just saying. I thought you were going to say, Take that. <laughs> uh, nope. Tell me don't move, it automatically makes me move. Just saying. I think Fraser's aware of your quirks. Are you aware of the quirks, Fraser? Stop watching what I'm doing. You watch one thing. You pick one thing to I'm look. Scared. You know. You pick one thing to stare at. You <laughs> stare at that and stay I there. I watched just now. I looked at it. Wow. <laughs> Actually, hold it again one more time. It's awkward. Just hold it there, just gently. Crazy, crazy for feeling. Oh, sorry. It just came to mind. The song just came to mind. I went and put it on top. Okay. Right? How many days are you working? 
for me or for... Yeah. Well, I guess he doesn't have a real job. <laughs> <laughs> Who needs a real job? Real jobs are overrated. There's a bunch of people off, so... That is one fancy... Holy moly. Now you can slide down it. I, gotta, I still gotta get a pole, because I can't have it loose there. I like it. It's beautiful. Of course, we haven't had one for 50 years, so it's pretty fancy <laughs> fancy. Yeah. We really had nowhere to put up. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go clean up my mess. Okay. Head in the store, get a couple more things. Post for this side, and a better angle for that. Okay, I'm back, I got some pieces. We're gonna see what we can't figure out here. Let's shoot up here. So that's what I'm working on. Go there, but in order for it to, but in order for it to go there, I've got to modify it. Right, I knew the battery died. That's okay. Uh, we've got that not only into the ground that way, but also Sika flexed. I'm also going to make a strap for it to go around, and then I'm going to attach the other pipe. But I'm also I'm going to do this first. This one here. That's my that's my goal right now. She's getting warm. Oh yeah, she's getting warm. Ow. Something to hold it with. Paper. Paper would be good. Paper doesn't burn, right? Wow. Yeah, that's really warm. And a little, you know, aluminum -y 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 -y. If I fold it over several times, it'll be like a be like a glove, right? Don't grab that. See how I smart and not grab that? Ah, ah. My apologies. Okay, dude, we're back to working on this one over here. Uh, I got this done. I think I had this on video. This is all done nicely. Screwed in here, screwed in underneath. That one's done, and it's safe to use for now. I, I took Fraser away. Aww. Fraser knows you had a good idea. See if it works. Unless it's wrecked. Then it wasn't my idea. No, I think it's a good idea. Utilizing the angles, right? What I was using, not utilizing the angles. The quickest route to getting home. You just told me not to rush and then you say things like that. Oh no. You know? That's hot. I knew it wasn't attached, I 
I just didn't think it would pull that hard. It's scary me sometimes, you know that? <laughs> I just go flop right off. What you doing? What's that? Smoothing it out. So I may need you here. Okay. I don't want to be close to that yet to do that. All right. Batteries are dying like gangbusters today. I've gone through like four batteries today, so I don't know what the deal is. My charger's not charging. Anyway. My trusty sidekick here was here the whole day, well, most of the day anyway. She worked, but, you know, she also worked here. So I got the uh, the railing going down that side, and I've got the railing going down this side. Had to put a post, modify one of these, so I've got to touch this up with a little bit of black paint. Uh, I also want to put a couple of, uh, I want to put a strap around there, tying it into the uh, concrete, and also around there, mostly to shore up this, because this is terrible, but... Uh, but that'll shore up both quite nicely. Other than that, that one is done. This one here needs a little bit of touch up around here. We had to do some modifications to uh, to get it to fit, which is not a big deal. But I want to take some Marine Tex, put some Marine Tex in here, and then uh, I'll sand that down a little bit and it'll be nice and smooth. Allie wants me to do that one as well. You don't have to do that one. She says I don't have to, but it's like saying, you know, I don't have to make her dinner or anything like that. And that's what they look from down here. Good. Safety. I like it. Let's go home. It's been a very long day. You're rolling. I'm rolling. Why aren't you using the rails? Why am I using what? Using the rails. Walking straight up the middle. Because I don't need the rails. I come up like royalty. I'm a child of the king. Hey, Fraser. Hope you're having a good day today, bud. Uh, hope you're enjoying the heat. Hope you're getting to the beach like you guys said you were going to do beach bums all, all summer so that's what I hope for you. It was a good day here, it was a long day here. Uh, Sharon, like I said, texted me last night and said hey we, we need you know handrails there, is that possible? And anything's possible. So uh, so I jumped right on it and uh, went out and went and measured up to see what I need first thing this morning. Down at, uh, went to a couple places to get prices and stuff and while I was at one of the places trying to find out whether they had the stock I got a text, and it was it was like 8.52 that I got the text. And the text said, hey, uh, you know, so-and-so needs a hand, um, moving a bunch of stuff with, uh, you know, throwing stuff about from the, from the house they just bought and all this sort of stuff. Uh, can you and a few guys, you know, any chance you and a few guys can go over there and help? So, because I'm a guy... I didn't read the text fully, and I'm like, uh, yeah, because I didn't get, I didn't read the text until 8:55, and they said nine o'clock in the text. But I'm a guy; I only read like the top line and the bottom line. So if you want me to read uh, a long text or multiple sentences in a text, my suggestion to you and to anyone sending me a text: one sentence per line. Hey, this. Help this guy with uh, throwing out some garbage. 9 o'clock tomorrow morning, this address, only need three or four guys. You know, that, that kind of thing, right? But what I read was 9 o'clock this morning, and I'm like 15 minutes early is like 10 minutes late for me, right? Or 5 minutes early is 10 minutes late, because I'm always everywhere 15 minutes early. So I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to figure out who I can ask to help with that. So I said, okay, well, I can be there by like 9.15. You know to start with right and then i got another text from somebody else that needed somebody else needed a, a little bit more urgent assistance so i had to do that first 
and as I was going to help that person, I phoned the first person and said, hey, listen, like, you know, I'm going to be a little bit late and I haven't gotten anybody yet. Uh, they're like, uh, you know, this is tomorrow, right? I'm like, nope. Yeah, but sure enough on the text, it says tomorrow. But again, short sentences, short for me, like four or five words. Hey, you need help. Tomorrow, this time. All separate texts, and then I'll get that, right? Otherwise, I just don't read the middle. By the time I got all that sorted out and then went and to three different stores to find the stock, mixing two stores together for the stock, finally got back about 11 o'clock before I, before I actually started work at the church there. Uh, and the first side went pretty smooth, the right-hand side there, straight down, nothing serious, but I needed a post for the top, so I, I didn't do that part right away. And I think I drilled the first hole in the left-hand side before Allie came, because Allie went to work this morning. And then, uh, and then she came back, or she, then she came and met me at the church at about uh, 2 o'clock, and then brought me lunch kind of thing. And then she was able to stay for, well, for a while and help me initially. And then we went to the store, got the other supplies that I need, the post, and a different angle, because the angle that I have from where that, where that wall goes kind of like this, it's, it's, it's not 45 degrees, but it's not, it's, it, was, it was all over the place, so... I got a 60 degree angle, which I thought was the closest, and I was thinking I could heat it, I could bend it, and Allie says, well, why don't you just cut it here, because the angle goes like this, right, and just use that portion of the angle. That's brilliant. I'll do that. You know, well, I don't know why I didn't think of that, but, you know, so I was only able to get the, the coupler in so far, but I still was getting in far enough that it sits in there, and I got a screw in the back to hold it in place. And then I'm going to put some marine text on there, which is like a, it's an aluminum, it's an epoxy type aluminum thing. I don't know what it is, but basically you can sand it and drill it and tap it in the whole nine yards, right? So it's just as good as aluminum. So, so I will do that. Um, but yeah, it, it was a great idea on Allie's part. We all know that she's the brains. I just do the work, right? Yeah. And then she went home and got changed and all that sort of stuff and came back. And sat with me there for the rest of the day. So we, we basically worked till about 6 o'clock trying to get the angles right and the heights right on the one side because as soon as you add that angle in, it makes it really weird, right? So, uh, but, but it worked out all right. It worked great. I think it looks great. Uh, again, just a couple of areas that i got to fix up with the marine techs. But other than that, it's solid. I'm very happy with the job. It's done. It's safe and the ladies can walk up and down with no... Issue. So can the guys, for that matter, right? So, uh, but specifically, the ladies were asking, you know, that they they needed uh, some handrails there, and that was the day. That was literally the entire day. Just getting it figured out. It's just you know, I can I can build things up and down, but as soon as you get angles, it, it takes me a little longer. <laughs> I am not an angle guy. Oh, and I got a bunch of guys ready. Uh, I didn't see also that they only needed about four guys. I think we got nine of us to go there and help. But this just means the job's going to go quicker, right? So, again, short little text. Little text. Lots of little text. I'll read each one. You give me one big one? Eh. I'll read most of it. Some of it. A glance at it. We are in Psalm 12, another Psalm of David. Help, Lord, for no one is faithful anymore. Those who are loyal have vanished from the human race. Everyone lies to their neighbor. They flatter with their lips, but harbor deception in their hearts. May the Lord silence all flattering lips and every boastful tongue. Those who say, by our tongues we will prevail. Our own lips will defend us. Who is Lord over us? Because the poor are plundered and the needy groan. I will now arise, says the Lord. I will protect them from those who malign them. And the words of the Lord are flawless, like silver purified in a crucible, like gold refined seven times. You, Lord, will keep the needy safe and will protect us forever from the wicked, who freely strut about when what is vile is honored by the human race. Wow, that psalm doesn't at all seem relevant to today in any way, shape, or form, but anything, hey? Yeah, from from my perspective, certainly that's how I feel. Everybody lies, right? That's how I used to see. 
how I used to see it before. Very distrustful because everybody that I dealt with, everybody lied. Right? That's just kind of the way it was. So, and that's when I stopped trusting people. I stopped trusting God. Right? And that's, <clears throat> you know, after my, my issues that I've had, you know, I had that big argument with God and told him I didn't trust him. And, uh, yeah. Then at that point, he was like, okay. Now let's see what we can do with you. Now that you're being honest with me, let's see what we can do with you. And uh, he told me he was going to start writing a new book, um, a new chapter, a new book, whatever, and that he was going to be the one doing the writing. And clearly he is, because I'm doing things that I've always said there's no way I would ever do. Right? But, yeah, God's good and amazing. And he loves you very much, man. I love you too, buddy. I miss you. I look forward to seeing you again. And I will post more tomorrow.